Okay guys, next up on Chefing with Ando, I'm gonna create my version of the big steak and egg omelet. Now this is one of the things that I normally get at IHOP, and at one point, I noticed I was spending 40 plus dollars a day on that shit, which doesn't make sense. I'm not balling like that yet, all right? So I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna see what ingredients I need and make my own version of it. Now, you have to have a quality nonstick pan, eggs, I use brown eggs, the yolks are a lot healthier. All right, less saturated fat, more healthy fat. So you can also use omega-3 eggs. A quality nonstick spray, you don't need much of it if you have a quality nonstick pan. Onion, mushrooms, I like using baby bella. Peppers, now I'm using sirloin steak. As far as the two quality steaks you can use for stir-fry type foods that won't be too chewy, sirloin and flank are the best, all right? Now as far as the big steak and egg omelet, they actually use flank. I'm using sirloin because I feel like it, all right? Now as far as my main two seasons, I put on pretty much everything. Onion powder and garlic salt, all right? So this is the raw ingredients right here. I'm gonna show after I kind of prepare it a little bit, chop it up a little bit, I'm gonna show parts of the cooking and I'm gonna show how I actually have it all together when it's completed. All right, stay tuned. Now, this is a pretty big steak. Now, when I did order it from IHOP, the big steak and egg omelet, I would always get extra steak. And as far as this is concerned, this would be at least three servings of extra steak in one of those omelets. All right, so I'm gonna split this up into thirds, rinse it out, and chop it up. All right, so that's the next step. So when you see it next, it's gonna be chopped up in a portion of what an extra steak serving would look like. All right, so here it is. This is the steak chopped up. All right, and I'm gonna put my favorite seasonings on it. So for, as far as the steak is concerned, I'm just gonna put onion powder first. Like I said, I put this shit on everything. And garlic salt. You know, once you go garlic salt, you don't go back to regular salt. It's, it's my saying. And I mix that up. All right, I put more of this when I actually mix in the eggs and I throw everything in at the end. But as, as far as seasoning the steak itself, this is all I put on the steak. I mix it up, make sure everything's evenly combined. All right, so the next time you see the steak, it's gonna be going into the skillet. All right, now besides the actual steak, all right, you don't have an omelet unless you have eggs. But what I put inside is onions, the peppers, and the mushroom. And I'm gonna chop this up and make it more smaller pieces so I can get a piece in every single bite. I use four whole eggs. Once again, I use brown eggs because it's healthier fats. And I scramble it. And then I also top it with some sharp cheddar cheese. All right. So once again, the next time you see the steak will be in the skillet and the cooking process will be already started. Okay, I've got the skillet pretty hot right now. Spray some Pam on there. And now, the steak. So I'll mix that up. When I don't do that medium rare, rare shit, it has to be cooked. So I definitely make sure the steak is cooked. You know what I mean? It's, it's whatever you like as far as taste is concerned, but I just don't like steak raw. I don't like anything raw. So my eggs, same situation. I know some people like their eggs half cooked and stuff like that. All my food, I rather it cooked. That's just a preference for mine. I mean, for the most part, the quality stuff, I know you can eat it a bit undercooked, but just preference wise, I like my stuff cooked. And this is all the stuff that's gonna be added in, chopped up. And this is the egg scramble. All right, so the next step would be throwing these things into the steak and then adding the eggs and the cheese at the end. All right, so you don't wanna overcook anything that doesn't need to be overcooked. So obviously out of everything here, what's gonna need the most prep time as far as cooking would be the steak. All right, second would be the actual vegetables and stuff like that. And then lastly, it'll be the eggs. The eggs don't need that much time to cook, especially if you're gonna have it spread out over a large surface, like I will in the skillet. All right, so the next time I turn the camera on, we'll be actually throwing in the peppers and onions and mushrooms. All 
All right, now the vegetables cook for a couple minutes. Add a little bit more Pam. Even though it's a quality nonstick pan, I still like adding ham before I add something like egg. Now I add my four scrambled eggs. As I mentioned before, I like adding more seasoning at this point because the steak is seasoned, that is true, but the eggs kind of dilute that. So I'm just going to add a little bit more of my two favorite seasonings. Some onion powder. Garlic salt. As far as sodium, I mean, I do drink a lot of water. Obviously, if you have issues with water retention or blood pressure, be conscious of your sodium intake, but I sweat a lot, I drink a lot of water, and I'm healthy, so I'm good with the salt. I add cheese when the, the eggs cook down a little bit because I don't want to overcook the cheese. I add that pretty much at the end, and I top it with salsa. So sometimes I use hot sauce, but I definitely don't use ketchup. So for the most part, I try to limit the amount of carbs I eat, especially when I increase the fats like I do right now. So I, I added four whole eggs and some lean steak. So that's a decent amount of fat already. When I add some cheese, that's also a decent amount of fat. So I don't want to also on top of that add ketchup, which is pretty much sugar. All right, so salsa would be something with a similar flavor, but a lot less carbs, a lot less sugar. All right, so actually the eggs cooked down a decent amount. Throw the cheese on there. There we go. So once again, I'm eating a low carb meal, high protein, decent amount of fat. All right, now, I could still lose weight because I'm not doubling up on my energy sources. In other words, I'm not adding fat and carbs at the same time. So if you were trying to gain weight, if you're trying to gain strength, if you're just training for performance, then you would want to eat a decent amount of calories if you were powerlifting, for instance. In my case, I want to drop some more body fat. I want to maintain my muscles, so I keep my protein up. I keep my fats moderate, I keep my carbs low. For my body type, I've realized that consistently, if I keep my carbs pretty manageable, pretty low, and I also keep my fats pretty decent, as far as medium intake, 100 plus grams, I feel good and I don't retain as much water and my body responds pretty well to that. So you have to experiment. I don't believe in cookie cutters, you know, routines as far as working out or nutrition. This works for me. So the next time you see this, will be a little bit more stirred up and ready to go and I'll top it with salsa. I just wanted to show this. Like I'm actually pretty much treating it as scrambled eggs as opposed to omelet. And like I said, the way I try to mimic this recipe is the IHOP recipe that I like is a big steak and egg omelet. They actually flip it like an omelet. But in my case, since I stuff it with so much stuff and I believe I have more eggs than they do as well, it makes more sense for me to, to make it kind of like scrambled eggs. All right, so about one more minute will be perfect. The cheese will be perfectly melted. And I like everything kind of dark and charred a little bit. So I want the cheese even a little bit really melted. All right, so about 40 seconds left. And like I said, I just top it with salsa. So the next time you see it, it'll be on a plate and completed. And I'll show you how I actually eat it. All right, so this is the eggs on the plate. All right, now I have the salsa right here, mild, medium, whatever you're into. And I like separating it on the side because sometimes when I put it right on top, I put too much. So when I put it on the side, I can kind of manage it a lot better. So that's how it is. I throw this also on top according to taste. Perfectly healthy meal with a lot of flavor. There you go. Try it out. Let me know what you think.